Hello and welcome to how to use set members in struct. When you're making a game, you may find be using structs quite regularly. And some of these structs could be quite large. For example, here in front of me, I have an item detail struct commonly used for things like inventory, shopkeeping, whatever it may be. Here you can see I'm storing things like item name, description, weight, cost, and so on and so forth. Now the question comes is how do you change one value inside the struct rather than all of them? So a common thing that I've seen a lot of people do, including myself, is this. They'll go in and split open a get of the struct, split open the set of the struct, drag all the pins across except for the one they want to change. So they change that one and plug that one in. Now, although this does work and it's fine, uh, the issue you may find here is if you're doing lots of pins, this may take up a lot of your time, look unsightly and ultimately just a waste of your time. There's actually a far better way of doing this. So let me show you. And that is using a set members instruct, like so. What you see here is exactly the same as what you just saw just now, except it's a lot cleaner and it's dealing with just the information that we need to deal with. So let's go through how we make this. I'm going to drag in my struct here and do get. And from here, I want to break it, not split it. Now the benefit of breaking a struct is that you have access to these options over here on the right hand side. If you don't see them, they're just hidden by the default category. Now if I want, I can hide each individual pin or all of them. And I can just tick the one I want to use, in this case, cost. I'm then going to take out of there and do minus one, which is what I've been doing. Now to set it in back into the struct, I take from the struct here, we do set members in item struct. And then on similarly on the right hand side, I can choose which pin to show. In this case, I'm going to turn on the cost. So now cost is now showing and I can plug that straight into there. As you can see, it's a lot quicker and a lot easier set up and you can choose which pins you want to show for your individual structs. So have a crack at using it. You may find it a lot easier and a lot quicker to get things going. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to see more how-tos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely. I want to show a massive thank you for all of my patrons and YouTube members for the continued donations and supporting me making these videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.